Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sari Kolia here. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever had this experience uh, when you get a box or you get something in the mail, uh, you purchase a book through a, an online retailer or through someone on eBay or Facebook, gets to you, you open the box and you find uh, the book smashed in the corners, you get some bumps in the corners and it's, it's horrible. It is a very horrible experience. It is really annoying. I've been there many, many times. And there are times where you can simply go and contact the seller and get a replacement. But nowadays it's really hard. Uh, some even, uh, some places, some retailers, they have some strict policies like Indigo in Canada. Now where you have to send the stuff first before they can release a replacement, send you a replacement. And the way things are going, uh, sometimes they don't have enough stock. So you, you lose out, you miss out. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. We're gonna work on it. And let's see how it does. So first you need the book, of course. You need a book and this is the new Warriors just went out for sale. This is the first print and I've been having this and I was even considering to change to get the, the new reprint because this one, let me just remove the dust jacket. Uh, I bought this through eBay, uh, I think, or it was some other retailer, but this one came with a, <laughs> a bump right there, smash corner and I hate that. And then you got this here, right here. So we're gonna fix that also on this side. We need a C-clamp. And in this case, a regular C-clamp. I bought this at Walmart. It's a four inch C-clamp. I think this is the best size to do this. You can even use a three inch, as long as you have enough pressure. So all it matters is the way you do it. And it's, this is not expensive. You can find this at any hardware store. Hardwood uh, samples. This is flooring samples. You can find this at any place, at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or any other place that sell uh, hardwood. And um, you can get this, you know, they can sell it for cheap. In, in my case here at Home Depot, these are samples, so they're for free. So I, were able, I was able to grab them without paying anything, so they have no cost. We're gonna need four of these. Now, some of them, uh, what you need is this. Some of them, they come just the wood. I would recommend you, and uh, the best one is the ones that come with some type of protection. This one comes with foam at the bottom. Uh, some have rubber, but the ones at my store, they all have some type of texture, and I don't want any type of texture to any marks to be left on the book. And also, I recommend you to have any type of towel, just uh, for, and I'm gonna show you what's the purpose of it, just for, to protect the book. All right, and this is how we are going to do it. Again, we're going to concentrate first on the center here in the middle, on this little, uh, bump before we get into the corner. I'm opening the book, the cover, and I'm going to use the towel. And this is just to protect the book. I don't want any scuffs, any marks on, on the pages. And what I'm going to do, I grab this two, two of these uh, little pieces of wood and with the styrofoam looking, uh, and it's going to be in contact with the cover and I'm gonna leave it like that. Certain, you wanna have at least, I would say, an inch or a little over an inch, inch and a half opening because you want to have enough pressure. You want this to be pressed down to the point where, of course, it's going back to the original form. And then we put this on top and they have to be flush, uh, parallel with each other. So this is what we do. And this is where the C-clamp comes in handy. You don't want it on top of the bump. You want it just, I would say, an inch away from it. And we are going to just simply um, come down so we can apply enough pressure. Now, how much pressure you need? I would say as much as needed. Um, the way to know this is as far as you can go. You want this parts close to each other as much as possible. You don't want to smash the cover either, but you don't want to have it to uh, to lose. All you gotta do is just leave it like that in you know any place where it's not going to be moved for 24 hours. In 24 hours, we're gonna come back and see how it is, and then we're gonna apply the same thing to the other side and so on. All right, guys, now it's time for us to check how it's the, in the inside, so we're gonna remove this. So what we do is simple, is we remove this, very good, and we remove the blocks, see how it is. Now, let me look at it very quickly. Wow, it did something. It's not 100% better. Of course, you know, it's not going to fix it like to the beginning, but it's a lot better than what it was. So I can live with that. 
Um, yeah, probably I need to apply maybe a little more force on this one. But um, I like it the way it is. At least it just it looks a lot better. So we're going to do the same thing for this other, for the corner, for this main corner. Well, as you can see, I already have it set up. Um, everything is there. Always make sure, again, that you overlap. That I have a half an inch distance from this to the face of the cover. Uh, I think that's perfect. Now, I did notice when I did the one in the middle that it wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting closer with the C-clamp. I'm getting closer to the edge, getting closer to the bump, uh, so to that corner. So I would say that I'm probably an inch away from the um, from the edge of the board, which is technically half an inch close to the to the corner. And I'm gonna leave it like that. When you are when you tie this, make sure that you tie it as far as you can go. Uh, when you feel that like you cannot go any further, then that's the way you should leave it. Uh, I think, uh, of course, you know, as a book collector, sometimes we get scared when we're doing stuff like this because we feel that we're going to damage the book. Life is all about trial and error. Sometimes you're going to have to try a little more. So apply a little bit of strain. Don't be afraid and just put enough pressure there so it's not moving further anymore. And that's about it. That's all you got to do. As you can see, the in this case, the rubber parts, the foam parts are touching each other in the corners. I think that's a good sign. And we're just going to leave it like that. See how it does. Again, don't forget to put this to protect the paper. We don't want to scuff it. Some people add glue to this whole process. Uh, you know, in the corner, they inject some glue. I don't want to go that far because I don't want to damage the book at all. Uh, these are costly books, as you know. So we're going to see how it goes. All right, guys, I just removed everything. And I'm telling you, I'm really impressed with this method. I was a bit skeptical at first. Um, and I did apply more force because I wasn't as sure if the, I was doing enough for, so I did apply, and I'm telling you this, you need to go as far as you can when you are tightening the C-clamp. Uh, as far as you can go uh, until it doesn't move anymore, then just go there, and I, it has done a really good job. Um, it's really good. Yes, it's not 100% perfect, but it is better than what it was. You still see the line here, which I'm okay with that, but if you look at the how straightened it is, it's really straight really good and I like that it's really really straight in comparison to it it's not again it's not 100% perfect um, maybe if you add some glue on all of that like people do or some people do professionals do then it will be better but I like it the way it is I think it's, it's doing a good job and I'm gonna do this also with this corner because this corner also needs it so I'm gonna try with this and see how it does all right guys we're back and I'm telling you I love the end result of this. It is not perfect, let me be clear with that, but I like that it looks a lot, a lot better than it did before. And, and that's good to me, that's good enough. Um, it is really kind of straight. Um, yeah, you might see some of the lines, it might not be perfect, you know, square and all that, but man, it looks so good, and I'm so glad that I did this. It, it definitely looks a lot better. I just added the dust jacket for reference. And as you can see, there's no problem with it. It looks really good. I like that. It looks really good right there. Yeah, really. It's just, now it's better than what it was. And uh, I can do the same thing perhaps with the dust jacket just to make it look better. Uh, just add some pressure on it. I might use the same technique. Uh, in any case, uh, I, I'm, in the future, I'm thinking about just uh, getting some uh, to customize some dust jackets for some of my books, I would like to have different art. This is a good way to save money, in my opinion. Uh, accidents happen all the time. Uh, sometimes we drop an omnibus by accident or someone in the house does it. And uh, now you have this dent corners, this uh, smash corners. And uh, instead of just buying a new book, you can just do this and it solves the problem really quick. It's not going to make it perfect, but it's better than the, you know, the alternative, which is buying another book. You know, I'm not a professional again, but I did my best and I'm glad with the result. And in the end, that's all it matters. So my friends, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Um, don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe and also to hit the notification button. So you're reminded of every video. Uh, take care, my friends. Uh, I'll see you again. Bye bye.